Welcome to another Garage Time with Goody. And today what we're gonna be doing is installing an aftermarket backup camera on a 2014 Dodge Journey 3.6 liter engine, all wheel drive SXT. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm going to install this backup monitor and this particular kind of backup monitor, it has these latches that latch on to your existing rear view mirror here. You can see how this pushes up and it's gonna latch on. In the back, it has three buttons uh, for you to adjust your picture on the backup monitor later. And this particular backup model is a five inch screen but it also, while the screen is off, you're gonna be able to use it as a new rear view mirror. Now, before I was able to install this camera, I had to wire a plug-in, a cigarette lighter plug-in to the transmitter and to the power plug and it looks like this so the first thing I'm going to do is to mount this to the rear view mirror pretty good you want to make sure that it's on there good and what a lot of people don't show you are the next steps you see there's still a lot of wire here now also on some of these generic cameras here's a tip you want to check to see which one is the very first video in because this has two inputs if you go just by color coding yellow to yellow, it won't work because yellow is actually video two and white is video one. So you'll want to hook it to video one, which is white to yellow. Also the red is where the power plugs in. So what we're going to have to do to get these wires out of the way is to hold up here the the headliner back just a little bit one of the things I'm going to be using is double-sided velcro straps and I'll show you what I'm going to be using this for this transmitter of course isn't going to fit up behind the headliner i mean it probably could but i'm not going to do that because it could obstruct the signal so to get a better signal what i'm going to do i'm going to mount it to right here So I'm gonna put the Velcro strip on the back of the receiver and make sure this is the receiver that is plugged in. And I'm gonna take it and put it across, I put it across the width of the receiver. Then I'm gonna take another one I'm just gonna simply strap it to the receiver and I'm gonna put it out of view up 
up here about midways across the windshield and I'm going to put the rest of the wiring up behind the headliner and I'm going to run it over to the passenger side and down. It may take you a few tries, but you want to get this looking okay. Okay, you'll want to pull this pillar down about two inches. Be careful not to pull it down too much because uh, there is a plastic strap holding that in. You'll want to pull it down just enough to where you can get your wires in, in there. And run it down the plastic pillar. You want to run it in the plastic pillar and down through here. Okay, I'm taking and uh, running the wire down here and underneath the glove compartment. Then I have enough. Make sure that the wiring that you have that you have enough left over where it's going to reach your cigarette lighter plug. Now I know there's more ways to do this. Some people wire the camera straight into the fuse box or the radio. This particular one came with an adapter to plug into the 12 volt and I emphasize 12 volt because some cars have um, cigarette plugs that aren't 12 volt you have to make sure you plug this into a 12 volt one on this car it's right here so there we go and as you can see up here this is what it's going to look like so the front is installed now. This will serve as your rear view mirror. And when you're backing up, the image is gonna come in the middle of that rear view mirror. So now let's get started with the problem. Back. You could have a problem. And I had tons of problems. So I kinda had to re-edit the whole video. Originally what I did was I attempted to tap into the reverse lights, which are these right here. They're the white lights located below the red ones. And it was not enough power. Long story short, it would not work. So I figured out a way it would work. I went ahead and mounted the camera to the back of the license plate. And I took off these T 25 Torx bolts and I pulled down this piece of plastic and in this wire from the camera and up and I had removed this plastic the wires come through the back of the plastic and I had put the transmitter here with some velcro as you can see and it mounts on to there. And then the wire comes from the plastic bezel of the lift gate down 
around the weather stripping and down around to the 12 volt plug-in. The 12 volt plug-in provides enough power for the transmitter and the camera. And also this was a splitter that I had so you can still use the cigarette lighter and also it's plugged into the rear camera and transmitter giving it enough power. That is a way around the power problem for the rear camera since it would not work by being wired into reverse backup lights. So that's how it's done in the back. I know what you guys are thinking. How's this camera going to come on if it's not hooked up to the backup lights and the backup lights aren't going to power the camera when it comes on? Will the power be on all the time? Well, yes and no. You see the front power adapter has a switch on it, an off and on switch that plugs into the cigarette lighter. Now make sure you plug it into a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And as you can see, there is the rear view mirror. And what you wanna do is before you back up or before you park, whenever you wanna use the rear view mirror, you just push the on button. So what you wanna do, you turn, you turn this switch to on and it will light up the backup camera, as you can see. And then whenever you want to turn it off, you just simply turn it off. And you use this as your rear view mirror and your backup camera. So that is the way around the problem of the under voltage on the Dodge Journey. Anyways, guys, if you have any other comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, be good to yourselves and each other.